This week we'll be taking a spoiler-free look at the Netflix horror Veronica and discussing just how scary it really is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. Veronica is a Spanish movie which is loosely based on an actual police case file which was reported in 1992. In the real life police report, a young girl performed a seance at school and was later haunted by what she described as dark shadows. And interestingly, it is one of the only police cases that a paranormal phenomenon has been verified by police. Veronica is directed by Paco Plaza, who is responsible for the wildly popular Wreck series, and the movie follows the real-life case files rather closely, obviously changing minor details for dramatic effect. Now, when this movie was first released, the internet went crazy with people immediately calling it the scariest movie of all time, and there were rumoured statistics saying a very low percentage of people could even make it through the entire film. Whenever I go into a film, I never come at it with those expectations, because no matter what, nothing could live up to claims like that. Veronica is scary, yes, but not for the reasons that normally make a movie terrifying. Plaza creates an atmosphere which feels uncomfortably eerie as soon as the movie starts. There's no actual spooks to be had until a fair bit into the movie, but the tension is slowly and expertly built so that when you see these nightmares come to fruition, they don't seem out of place and they just further justify your fear. The acting was superb from everyone, especially considering it was primarily a very young cast, and the cinematography was as beautiful as it was dark and foreboding. The creature design was a perfect mix of reality and CGI, but what I appreciate most about these type of horrors is that the real horror doesn't come from the evil creatures. It's the creepiness of the unknown that the poor family has to face. That's what really gets to me. Despite the great marketing and terrified social media posts, Veronica is definitely not the scariest movie of all time, but I definitely consider it for scariest of 2018, at least so far. But this film is outstanding nonetheless, and I highly recommend it for anyone that's a huge horror fan, or even if you're just feeling brave one lonely night. And for those of you that are putting off watching it due to it being in Spanish, don't be, because you forget that you're even reading subtitles about five minutes in, so don't let that get in the way of a truly amazing cinematic experience. If you've already seen it, make sure to let me know in the comments what your thoughts were. Was it the scariest movie you've ever seen? Got an even scarier movie for me to take a look at? I look forward to seeing your suggestions. But thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribed during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.